it guys? So welcome back to another episode of Boot and Bulls. Um, although I should probably be calling this Boot and Unboxes because that's pretty much all I've been doing lately. Uh, sorry about that. We will get back to a few build projects uh, in the near future. <laughs> There's a couple of things that I've got in mind. Um, but I just really haven't had time and my garage has been in a mess. As you can see, it is back in use, so I hope to get onto those projects pretty soon. That aside, I told my wife not so long ago that I bought her an electric car. Needless to say, uh, that evening I found out that the garage floor is very cold. No, I joke. Uh, I slept on a camping mattress, so I don't know if the garage floor is cold at all. So this is what I've got to unbox today, uh, a new vacuum cleaner uh, by Karcher, it's the WD-3, basically a simple vacuum cleaner, nothing too spectacular, a uh, thousand watts, although these guys claim, I think they said it's equivalent to a thousand eight hundred watt vacuum cleaner, again, just probably some marketing rubbish, um, you know, it really depends on the design of the, probably the impeller, or not really impeller, but uh, the, yeah, whatever that's called. Um, 17 litre capacity, uh, they reckon it's got a 4 meter cable and uh, it's about 5.5 kilograms. So let's open it, see what's in the box. The um, uh, reason I bought this thing is because the garage does get pretty pretty dirty uh, and we've only got a really small old vacuum cleaner. Uh, it works well but just really small. So I'm going to be using this to clean the garage uh, and also uh, one of the previous videos that I did, haha, <laughs> we unboxed uh, this circular saw by DeVault, um, and I actually did mention that I wasn't going to, wasn't going to like put a suction on it um, or a vacuum cleaner, should I say? Uh, I cut some wood. It made a hell of a mess, all over the garage, uh, dust everywhere. So <laughs> I had a quick look. I can buy a little adapter, it's a little plastic adapter, it's probably going to cost about 300 Rand. Uh, that's uh, South African uh, bucks there. It clips onto here and it will then clip onto the vacuum cleaner. They also happen to be the same color, both yellow and black. So, not that that makes any difference, but uh, yeah, I'm going to use it for that. Uh, one of the other projects actually that I wanted to also have a quick look at was a seat. Now this is just an old chair really, and it's basically just the base of a chair, nothing nothing else. Um, I'm going to cut the top off and I need to kind of make a bar stool height size chair that also has rollers uh, like this has got and it's uh, rotates uh, for my overhead uh, videos. Um, it's a little bit tiring standing for hours on end uh, at the desk. Uh, my other desk is probably about 600 650 millimeters high um, and also when I'm fixing things at the desk uh, I actually don't have a chair at the moment so that is going to be coming up really shortly. A couple of things on the box here they say wet and dry vacuum cleaner which is quite nice uh, one of the features of this is that you can uh, use it both wet and dry without having to change the filter but wait there's more uh, <laughs> once the filter's wet you need to wait for it to dry for it to work properly again so keep that in mind it's also got another couple of little features which we'll look at. Uh, here's the things that it comes with in the box. Uh, we'll see if indeed everything is in the box. I'm not too sure, but it should be. It came sealed. Um, yeah, other than that, something that was quite interesting for domestic use only and 12-month uh, warranty. Um, I guess these guys are semi-confident in their product. <laughs> Otherwise, this wouldn't be on your domestic use. Yeah, let's get into it. That's uh, kind of how it comes. So the first thing that comes out is the, oh, is the hose. Um, nicely branded. Karcher. Actually doesn't look too bad. The, the quality, it's, uh, it's not the thickest uh, material that I've ever felt before. Uh, but the ends seem to be quite nice. It's got a little bit of a locking mechanism here. Um, I've had a few vacuum cleaners in the past where the hose actually snaps off at uh, the junction here of kind of the the adapter part and the 
and the hose. Um, I hope it doesn't happen to this, but if it does, it is pretty easy to to fix. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys in the video. There's the kind of the nozzle bit. Um, I must say it, the plastic looks quite nice. A very uniform matte finish. Not uh, not too bad. We've got uh, two of these extension tubes. I think they are about half a meter long. Uh, as always, we kind of get a book. Wait, there we go. That's it there. Uh, we probably won't be needing that. And here is the machine itself. Oh, it's pretty heavy. 5.5 kgs, you're right. No, I think it is. That's it. Empty. Some last minute items in the box is the bag. Uh, it comes with these, it actually comes with two filters. There's a cartridge filter and a bag filter. Um, these are two ply bags made by Karcher. There's the, uh, I take it the model number of the bag. Um, these things are about 40 Rand each. You buy them in packs of five. So like 200 bucks for a pack of five. Uh, and yeah, supposedly they work quite well. Uh, especially when you're using the bag in conjunction with the cartridge filter. I think these things are just some floor cleaning, uh, you know, nozzles or floor cleaning attachments that go inside the inside the floor cleaning bit, whatever the heck that is called. Uh, some protective plastic over it. We don't really need that. Quite nice looking. Plastic feels uh, very thin. Although I'm sure it's quite uh, quite sturdy. We'll have a look for some uh, plastic uh, material marks uh, to see maybe what it's made out of. Um, but overall, it doesn't look, doesn't look tea bag. There's the model number, WD3. And uh, the kind of plate on the back there. There are a few more pieces inside. Uh, it's got these two kind of plastic clips that you just unclip. One over there and uh, one over there. And then the top comes off. That's the other little bits and pieces and we'll have a look at those shortly. This is where all the magic happens. So uh, this section has got the motor in it and um, something loose. I'm assuming that that's a one-way valve, something like that. And here's the cartridge filter. There's a kind of a little screw attachment thing which you just take off and then the filter slides right off. Now, the machine does come, well, my machine came with a, with a filter um, when you buy it. Uh, to replace these things, they are a little bit expensive, 200, about 250 Rand for a replacement filter. The whole machine is only a thousand Rand. So this is a quarter of the price of the machine. Uh, so preferably don't mess it up, keep it clean. Just looks like a standard cartridge filter, uh, paper element, nothing, nothing spectacular. Inside here is a little one-way valve. I'm assuming that, yep, it blocks off uh, access to the motor when something happens. Oh, maybe if it sucks up water. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is what it might be for. Is uh, if it does happen to uh, get water up to this level, then it, instead of it going through the motor, I think that thing just sucks closed, and there will probably be another. A valve inside the top here that kind of opens up so that the motor doesn't overload itself or become overloaded. Okay, so uh, inside this uh, black plastic piece here, we've got some material markings. It says PP25TV. Uh, PP is polypropylene. Uh, 25, no idea. And TV, no idea. I'll also have to look that up. I'll put a little uh, note in the video. Um, it's also got your PPT20, so I'm guessing again that's polypropylene in the T, I'm not sure, in the 20, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll check that out. Overall the casting is actually quite nice. Uh, not that you're really looking inside this thing, but uh, you know, for the, the, I'm sure this would have been a, a, not a, not a vacuum molded, an injection molded product, um, these plastic pieces. And the mold uh, still looks like it's in good condition, it's, um, you know, the finishing on the plastic is quite good. The switch on the unit is just a simple on-off switch. Uh, you 
press it like that to go on and press it like that to go off. Uh, interesting that this has not got any type of rubber diaphragm or seal over it. I've seen uh, some vacuum cleaners have that. Hopefully there is some protection inside the switch. Um, but again, this is not really a commercial product, so I suppose for home use, that is fine. The switch uh, feels not extremely responsive, but it's got a nice on-off on -off click. Uh, you'll definitely know when the machine is on. Well, I'm sure you'll hear it. So another two features I want to talk about, uh, they on the back of the unit. Uh, one of them is a hook, and that's this little guy here. So you can wind up your electrical cord and you kind of just hang it on the end. Uh, the second feature is this outlet. So if your better two thirds are a little bit busy to give you a hand, uh, then you can stick your hose into this outlet and it blows. Oh shit, this thing's getting out of control. Um, so yeah, it blows out of that outlet. Um, it's quite a handy feature to have if your uh, end bit is a little bit too big to get into small spots. Um, you can't get into suck that out. Then uh, you just blow it up with this. So yeah, keen to give that a try. I've never had a vacuum that does that before. So having a look at the base or the buckets or container, whatever you want to call it, um, you'll notice that it doesn't have any wheels. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> The wheels are inside. You've actually got to put them on yourself. I'm sure they just clip on. Uh, yeah, they are here. Yeah, they just uh, clip on. We'll take a look at that shortly. Other two items are the crevice nozzle. You can see that's just a small little nozzle that clips onto the end of the tube. And this is the floor cleaning nozzle. Uh, so these other items that we looked at earlier, um, you need to clip these into this floor cleaning nozzle just by kind of placing it in and putting pressure on it and it clips in. Uh, if they ever do wear out, they're quite easy to take out. It's got these little clipping uh, bits on either end. You kind of just push them and the bottom releases. Now, these are also made out of polypropylene, PP, it says on there. And so is this, uh, polypropylene. The build quality of it, I mean, it's not very stiff uh, or anything like that, although it doesn't really have to be. It's got a nice consistent matte finish uh, with a little karcher kind of badge over there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Nice swivel action happening over here on the on the wide end. It's got uh, two little wheels. That's pretty much just to help it roll over any flat surface. Other than that, there's not really much else in here. Having a look at the wheels, uh, they are in a plastic bag, which you can pretty much open. Nothing really special about them, uh, just a normal kind of rotary rotary wheel. Pretty easy to install the wheels uh, on the bottom of the vacuum or of the base. You'll see there's one, two, three, four holes and you just take the wheel and you shove it into the hole just like that and it's done. So we'll do that four times. There we go, and our vacuum now has wheels. Hmm, actually rolls quite nicely. <laughs> so, yeah, not much to it at all. Okay, let's get this top on. Well, let's put the filter back in. So, putting the filter in is quite simple. Just slide the cartridge filter in, and the little kind of locking nut. It's a little plastic locking nut. Don't lose that. Uh, and then. This thing clips on just like that. So really nothing to it. Another two little features um, that's on the base, which is actually quite nice uh, for your kind of extension tubes here. What you can do uh, is you just stick them into the holders just like that. And uh, there's also, I think they call this like a tool parking system. Well, that's what Karcher refers to it as. Basically just somewhere to kind of put your tools onto. <laughs> uh, I think that one might go somewhere over there. Uh, that's the crevice nozzle and then the floor cleaning nozzle. Uh, that one goes... Ah! Not that way. <laughs> Wrong place. There we go. The floor cleaning nozzle goes over there. Your vacuum tube, that's uh, this piece over here, you'll kind of just clip it into 
the front of the machine, just like that. And the tube has also got a little parking area that would be over there. So the machine is, I don't know, you know, it's quite neat and tidy once everything is on it. Of course, these will go into the bottom of the floor cleaning unit. I suppose there's just an extra one here. I think they, yeah, they're pretty much both the same. Uh, so they're just giving you an extra. How nice of Karcher. Thank you. Yeah, overall, looks pretty damn good. But we're not finished. What would a unboxing be without plugging this thing in and actually giving it a try? So, uh, what I need to do is to work out if I want to use this bag. Now, if you have uh, any liquids that you are sucking up, then remove this bag and only just use the cartridge filter that is inside. Oh, where can I put this thing, man? Cool. The plug that it comes with, well, in South Africa is one of these two-prong plugs. I hate these plugs. Why can't manufacturers just put on a three-prong plug, like we use all over South Africa, or let us cut this thing off without voiding the warranty? I mean, this is really actually stupid, and this is something that irritates me out of um, all of the manufacturers, really. If uh, you go and cut this plug off, then they don't warrant the machine. For what reason, I don't know because it makes no difference. Uh, this cable has only got two wires in it, uh, or two conductors, so whether you connect them the wrong way or the right way around, it doesn't actually matter because of the type of electricity we're using. That irritates the shit out of me, because you've always got to find an adapter, and the time that you need it, you can never find it. Uh, luckily, I do have one here. It's uh, one of these simple little things. <laughs> on this thing is amazeballs. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah, sucks pretty hard. Um, well, <laughs> on the face of it, uh, the suction seems to be pretty strong. quite neat. Uh, earlier on today I was using the compressor, bloody noisy thing, uh, to dust off all the tools so I haven't really had access to them uh, lately. Yeah, this thing's actually going to work quite nicely. It's a lot uh, quieter than the compressor when it's running and uh, it gives a nice kind of wide uh, soft blow. Mm. You know what I mean. Before we test this thing, I just want to have a look at uh, one or two little items that might be uh, niggly things. Uh, the cord, well not the cord, but the suction pipe, uh, not very long, although I think it will be fine. Uh, let's have a look, I think the uh, Karcher claim it to be, I actually don't know. Okay, so the suction pipe, uh, this flexible pipe here, is two meters long. Not really a problem, uh, although what you do need to be careful of, this thing feels top heavy. So I think if you're pulling it on carpet, uh, the wheels, a very thick carpet, the wheels might get a little bit stuck and you're going to end up tippling it over. I mean, it does tip quite easily. So be careful of that. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is that the cord, now that's the electrical cord, these things generally on all appliances are always too short and this one seems a little bit short for a vacuum cleaner. Okay, so this cord measures 4 meters. Now 4 meters might sound like a lot but when you are vacuuming 
uh, inside your house, especially if you've got quite large living spaces, four meters is just not going to cut it. Um, so you're going to need an extension cord. Now that's going to be one drawback about this thing. Uh, nobody that I know of likes using extension cords. I personally hate it. Uh, we won't have much of a problem around our house because uh, it's very small. <laughs> but I'm going to be using this in the garage. The garage is rather big and outside as well. Uh, when I'm cleaning my car, I mean I've got, I don't clean it in a single garage. So uh, we want to pull it outside and just four meters will barely get to the door. So we're always going to have to use an extension cord. Be aware of that. Uh, some of the more expensive models um, of other brands and also of Karcher, they do make uh, vacuums with longer cords. So, yeah, you know, it is nice, but it's got some drawbacks. <laughs> You want a funky hairstyle. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's look for something to to vacuum. You know what? Uh, I was going to just empty the contents of our vacuum cleaner out onto the table and vacuum it back up, but uh, it's already empty. So and you know everything's kind of just been vacuumed. I cleaned up here before I started making this video. Uh, but then I threw it all away already in the trash. So we all know how vacuum cleaners work. Uh, it does have quite a strong suction. Um, I will use it for a couple of weeks and we will then uh, get back to you with a video on how well it has been working uh, as just a general vacuum cleaner around the shop and also maybe to or how well it works uh, with, with this little circular saw. Although it Having a battery-powered circular saw with no cables and then a suction pipe attached to it kind of defeats the point of having no, no cables. So, yeah, I don't know what you make of that. Thanks for watching. I promise we will be back with some uh, bold videos of random little projects and stuff. Uh, they are in the pipelines. If you have any comments, uh, leave them in the comment section, please. I always like to hear from you. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't like it, well, I suppose... Give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It costs nothing and it really helps me out with the videos. Um, so until next time, cheers.